For today's lesson, we will be discussing about limits of a function. So we will be evaluating limits of a function using the table of values and also using the graphs. So let's define first what is a limit. So when we talk about limits, it is the value that is being approached by a sequence of values. So for example, you have this set of values and then they are approaching a particular value. So we call it as the limit. Now if we will put it in the context of function, suppose the function f of x is defined when x is near c. If f of x gets closer to a real number l as x gets closer to c both from left and right of c, then we say that the limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to l. This can be written as like this one. So you will read this at limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to l. So what does it mean? So we have to identify at what particular value will our function approach if the value of x approaches to a certain value. So that is what we call as the limits of a function. Now, in identifying the limits of a function, again, we can use the table of values or the graphs. So let's say we have this, find the limit of the function f of x equals x plus 4 as x approaches 2. So to begin with, we have to identify what are the values of x that are close to our c, which is 2. So we have to consider the left side and the right side of 2. So we will be getting those values of x that are less than 2 and also those values that are greater than 2. But you have to take note, you have to get those values that are closest to 2. So we can have here on the left, uh, let's say 1.999, we have 1.995, 1.990, and 1.980. So you can get at least 5 values. So these are the values on the left side of 2, or these are the values where it x is less than 2. We also have to get those values that are greater than 2. So we can start at 2.001, 2.010. We can also get 2.015, 2.020, and 0.20, and 2.025. So these are the values that we can use in order for us to create the table of values. So take note, this is our C. On its left, those are the values of x that are less than 2 or less than c. And on its right, those are the values of x that are greater than 2. So when you're trying to identify the limit, we have to consider both sides. We have to look at the values um, from the left and also from the right of c. So we will be creating two table of values. So let's have first those on the left side, x is less than 2. And then let's write here f of x. So let's write 1.980, 1.985, and 1.999. And then we also have to create the table of values for x is greater than 2. So we have 2.025, 2.020, 2.015, Two point zero ten and two point zero zero one. Now all you have to do is to substitute these values to our function and let us observe the values of our function later on. So let's start with this. So all you have to do is to substitute the following values to x plus four. So we have there five point nine eighty, five point nine eight five, five point nine ninety, five point nine nine five. 5.999. Again, all you have to do is to substitute the given values of x to our function. Do the same thing for the other side. This one now is 6.025, 6.020, 6.015. Then we have 6.010, 6.001. Now observe the values that we obtained and check at what particular value 
are these values approaching? So on the left side, as you can see, as the values of x gets closer and closer to 2, which is our c, the value of our function gets closer also to the value 6. So we can say that on the left side, the values here approaches 6. On the other hand, we can see here as the value of x gets closer and closer to 2 from the right, the values also approaches the same value which is 6. Since both sides of our function approaches the same value which is 6, either from the left or from the right, then that means the limit of this function exists. We can say that the limit of a function exists if our function approaches the same value from both sides of uh, c. So, same values from the left and from the right as well. Now, our final answer, the limit of the function x plus 4 as x approaches 2 is equal to 6. Let's have another example. So this time, we have to identify the limit of the function x squared as x approaches 1. So we'll be doing the left side and the right side again of our function. So the values on the left side of 1, we can have 0 0.980, 0 0.985, 0 0.990, 0 0.995, 0 0.999. These are just uh, example values, but you can also use other values if you want. As long as it is close to C. And then on the other side, let's have um, 1 1.025, 1 1.020, 1.015, 1.010, 1.001. 1 and then let's substitute. So let's substitute all the values here. So we have 0 0.980 and then we will square it. So that will be 0 0.980. 0.9604 and then this one will be 0 0.9702 so 9 0 0.9801 and then 0 0.990 and 0 0.9980 so all you have to do is to substitute the values of x to our function now, observing the values, you can see it starts from 0 0.96, 97, 98, 99, 998. That means the values are approaching 1. So this is from the left. So let's have the other side and let's see if it also approaches 1. So for this, we have 1.0506, then we have 1.0404. Then we have 1.0302, 1.0201, 1.0203, 1.0204, 1.0205, 1.0206, 1.0207, 1.0208, 1.0209, 1.0210, 1.0211, 1.0212, 1.0213, 1.0214, 1.0215, 1.0216, 1.0217, 1.0218, 1.0219, 1.0220, 1.0221, 1.0222, 1.0223, 1.0224, 1.0225, 1.0226, 1.0227, 1.0228, 1.0229, 1.0230, 1.0231, 1.0232, 1.0233, 1.0234, 1.0235, 1.0236, 1.0237, 1.0238, 1.0239, 1.0240, 1.0241, 1.0242, 1.0243, 1.0244, 1.0245, 1.0246, 1.0247, 1.0248, 1.0249, 1.0250, 1.0251, 1.0252, 1.0253, 1.0254, 1.0255, 1.0256, 1.0257, 1.0258, 1.0259, 1.0260, 1.0261, 1.0262, 1.0263, 1.0264, 1.0265, 1.0266, 1.0267, 1.0268, 1.0269, 1.0270, 1.0271, 1.0272, 1.0273, 1.0274, 1.0275, 1.0276, 1.0277, 1.0278, 1.0279, 1.0280, 1.0289, 1.0290, 1.0291, 1.0292, 1.0293, 1.0294, 1.0295, 1.0296, 1.0297, 1.0298, 1.0299, 1.0300, 1.0301, 1.0302, 1.0303, 1.0304, 1.0305, 1.0306, 1.0307, 1.0308, 1.0309, 1.0310, 1.0310, 1.0311, 1.0312, 1.0313, 1.0314, 1.0315, 1.0316, 1.0317, 1.0318, 1.0319, 1.0320, 1.0321, 1.0322, 1.0323, 1.0324, 1.0325, 1.0326, 1.0327, 1.0328, 1.0329, 1.0330, 1.0331, 1.0332, 1.0333, 1.0334, 1.0335, 1.0336, 1.0337, 1.0338, 1.0339, 1.0340, 1.0341, 1.0342, 1.0343, 1.0344, 1.0345, 1.0346, 1.0347, 1.0348, 1.0349, 1.0350, 1.0351, 1.0352, 1.0353, 1.0354, 1.0355, 1.0356, 1.0357, 1.0358, 1.0359, 1.0360, 1.0370, 1.0371, 1.0372, 1.0373, 1.0374, 1.0375, 1.0376, 1.0377, 1.0378, 1.0379, 1.0380, 1.0381, 1.0382, 1.0383, 1.0384, 1.0385, 1.0386, 1.0387, 1.0388, 1.0389, 1.0390, 1.0391, 1.0392, 1.0393, 1.0394, 1.0395, 1.0396, 1.0397, 1.0398, 1.0399, 1.0400, 1.0401, 1.0402, 1.0403, 1.0404, 1.0405, 1.0406, 1.0407, 1.0408, 1.0409, 1.0410, 1.0411, 1.0412, 1.0413, 1.0414, 1.0415, 1.0416, 1.0417, 1.0418, 1.0419, 1.0420, 1.0421, 1.0422, 1.0423, 1.0424, 1.0425, 1.0426, 1.0427, 1.0428, 1.0429, 1.0430, 1.0431, 1.0432, 1.0433, 1.0434, 1.0435, 1.0436, 1.0437, 1.0438, 1.0439, 1.0440, 1.0441, 1.0442, 1.0443, 1.0444, 1.0445, 1.0446, 1.0447, 1.0448, 1.0449, 1.0450, 1.0451, 1.0452, 1.0453, 1.0454, 1.0455, 1.0456, 1.0457, 1.0458, 1.0459, 1.0460, 1.0469, 1.0470, 1.0471, 1.0472, 1.0473, 1.0474, 1.0475, 1.0476, 1.0477, 1.0478, 1.0479, 1.0480, 1.0481, 1.0482, 1.0483, 1.0484, 1.0485, 1.0486, 1.0487, 1.0488, 1.0489, 1.0490, 1.0491, 1.0492, 1.0493, 1.0494, 1.0495, 1.0496, 1.0497, 1.0498, 1.0499, 1.0500, 1.0501, 1.0502, 1.0503, 1.0504, 1.0505, 1.0506, 1.0507, 1.0508, 1.0509, 1.0510, 1.0511, 1.0512, 1.0513, 1.0514, 1.0515, 1.0516, 1.0517, 1.0518, 1.0519, 1.0520, 1.0521, 1.0522, 1.0523, 1.0524, 1.0525, 1.0526, 1.0527, 1.0528, 1.0529, 1.0530, 1.0531, 1.0532, 1.0533, 1.0534, 1.0535, 1.0536, 1.0537, 1.0538, 1.0539, 1.0540, 1.0541, 1.0542, 1.0543, 1.0544, 1.0545, 1.0546, 1.0547, 1.0548, 1.0549, 1.0550, 1.0551, 1.0552, 1.0553, 1.0554, 1.0555, 1.0566, 1.0577, 1.0578, 1.0579, 1.0580, 1.0581, 1.0582, 1.0583, 1.0584, 1.0585, 1.0596, 1.0597, 1.0508, 1.0509, 1.0510, 1.0511, 1.0512, 1.0513, 1.0514, 1.0515, 1.0516, 1.0517, 1.0518, 1.0519, 1.0520, 1.0521, 1.0522, 1.0523, 1.0524, 1.0525, 1.0526, 1.0527, 1.0528, 1.0529, 1.0530, 1.0531, 1.0532, 1.0533, 1.0534, 1.0535, 1.0536, 1.0537, 1.0538, 1.0539, 1.0540, 1.0541, 1.0542, 1.0543, 1.0544, 1.0545, 1.0546, 1.0547, 1.0548, 1.0549, 1.0550, 1.0551, 1.0552, 1.0553, 1.0554, 1.0555, 1.0566, 1.0577, 1.0578, 1.0579, 1.0580, 1.0581, 1.0582, 1.0583, 1.0584, 1.0585, 1.0586, 1.0587, 1.0588, 1.0589, 1.0590, 1.0591, 1.0592, 1.0593, 1.0594, 1.0595, 1.0596, 1.0597, 1.0508, 1.0509, 1.0510, 1.0511, 1.0512, 1.0513, 1.0514, 1.0515, 1.0516, 1.0517, 1.0518, 1.0519, 1.0520, 1.0521, 1.0522, 1.0523, 1.0524, 1.0525, 1.0526, 1.0527, 1.0528, 1.0529, 1.0530, 1.0531, 1.0532, 1.0533, 1.0534, 1.0535, 1.0536, 1.0537, 1.0538, 1.0539, 1.0540, 1.0541, 1.0542, 1.0543, 1.0544, 1.0545, 1.0546, 1.0547, 1.0548, 1.0549, 1.0550, 1.0551, 1.0552, 1.0553, 1.0554, 1.0555, 1.0566, 1.0577, 1.0578, 1.0579, 1.0580, 1.0581, 1.0582, 1.0583, 1.0584, 1.0585, 1.0596, 1.0597, 1.0598, 1.0599, 1.0510, 1.0511, 1.0512, 1.0513, 1.0514, 1.0515, 1.0516, 1.0517, 1.0518, 1.0519, 1.0520, 1.0521, 1.0522, 1.0523, 1.0524, 1.0525, 1.0526, 1.0527, 1.0528, 1.0529, 1.0530, 1.0531, 1.0532, 1.0533, 1.0534, 1.0535, 1.0536, 1.0537, 1.0538, 1.0539, 1.0540, 1.0541, 1.0542, 1.0543, 1.0544, 1.0545, 1.0546, 1.0547, 1.0548, 1.0549, 1.0550, 1.0551, 1.0552, 1.0553, 1.0554, 1.0555, 1.0566, 1.0577, 1.0578, 1.0579, 1.0580, 1.0581, 1.0582, 1.0583, 1.0584, 1.0585, 1.0586, 1.0587, 1.0588, 1.0589, 1.0590, 1.0591, 1.0592, 1.0593, 1.0594, 1.0595, 1.0596, 1.0597, 1.0508, 1.0509, 1.0510, 1.0511, 1.0512, 1.0513, 1.0514, 1.0515, 1.0516, 1.0517, 1.0518, 1.0519, 1.0520, 1.0521, 1.0522, 1.0523, 1.0524, 1.0525, 1.0526, 1.0527, 1.0528, 1.0529, 1.0530, 1.0531, 1.0532, 1.0533, 1.0534, 1.0535, 1.0536, 1.0537, 1.0538, 1.0539, 1.0540, 1.0541, 1.0542, 1.0543, 1.0544, 1.0545, 1.0546, 1.0547, 1.0548, 1.0549, 1.0550, 1.0551, 1.0552, 1.0553, 1.0554, 1.0555, 1.0566, 1.0577, 1.0578, 1.0579, 1.0580, 1.0581, 1.0582, 1.0583, 1.0584, 
So here it goes down to this direction. Now this two will meet at a particular point, which is this point right here, and that is equal to 1. So therefore, we can say that the limit of this function is still equal to 1. So you can use the graph in identifying the limit. So you just have to observe what is the movement of the graph as it approaches the particular value of c. Now we have what we call as the one-sided limits. So when we say one-sided limits, that means we're just considering the value of the function or the limit of the function as x approaches to a certain value from either left or the right side only. As you noticed a while ago, we are both computing uh, those values from the left and also from the right. But if it's only one-sided limit, that means we just have to choose either to the left or to the right. We have what we call as the left-hand limit and also the right-hand limit. Limit. So, suppose your function f of x is defined when x is near c from the left. So that means the limit of f of x as x approaches c from the left is equal to m. So this is what you will see if you are considering a left-hand limit. So you will notice it's just the same as the first one but the only difference is that we have this uh, negative symbol in the exponent of c. That means we are going to consider the left-hand limit or the values from the left of C. On the other hand, for the right-hand limit, so the limit of f of x as x approaches C from the right is equal to n. So this is the one that you will see. This means that if you see this plus sign at the exponent of C, meaning you will be considering the right-hand limit and also the values from the right of C. So that means you don't have to do both uh, tables. You just have to choose either the left hand or the right hand limit, depending on the given. Let's try with this example. So given the piecewise function, t of x below, estimate limit of t of x as x approaches 1 from the left using table of values. So this is our function. Now since this one is um, from the left of 1, that means we will be getting those values that are less than 1. So again, you just have to assign values of x that are less than 1. So we can use uh, 0 0.980, 0 0.985, 0 0.990, 0 0.995, 0 0.999. And then we have to evaluate. Now, which among the two sub functions should we use? Since the values of x that we have here are less than 1, that means we will be using the first sub function. Because based on the condition, so we will be using this if x is less than 1. So you substitute the following values to 2x plus 3. So the values that we will get will be, we have 4.96, 4.97. Again, all you have to do is to substitute 4.98, 4.99, 4.99. So as you will notice, as the value of x gets closer to 1, the value of the function approaches the value 5. So therefore, the limit of the function t of x as x approaches 1 to the left is equal to 5. So that's how you evaluate the function of given that you have to solve for the one-sided limit. You also have to take note that limit of a function is not the same as f of c. Limit is the value that f of x approaches as x gets closer to c from both directions. It is not about what f of x becomes when x is c. Okay? So they are two different things. There are times wherein they are the same or you can just substitute c but there are also times wherein uh, it's not applicable so you really have to solve for it using the table of values let's try to solve it using this example so let's say we have this function right here and let's evaluate the following so we want to solve for the limit of the function as x approaches one to the right so Let's write here the values that we can use. So 
this one will be um, it can be 1 1.025, 1 1.020, 1.015, 1 1.010, 1 1.001. Okay. And then you have to choose which among the three sub functions should we use. Since the value of x is greater than 1, that means we have to use the first sub function. Now, since this one is greater than 1, so we will be using 2. But since this one is a constant function, whatever value you substitute to it, it will still be equal to 2. So therefore, we can say that the limit of this function is 2 itself. Okay? Now, let's try to solve the left-hand limit. So let's do the same thing. But this time, let's use x is less than 1. So we have here the values uh, 0 0.980, 0 0.985, 0 0.990, 0 0.995, and 0 0.999. And then this time it's less than 1. So that means we'll be using the third sub function. And we just have to substitute here. So the function is negative x. So that means this will just be become negative 0 0.980, negative 0 0.985, negative 0 0.990, negative 0 0.995, and negative 0 0.999. And as you notice, the values here approaches the value which is negative 1. So therefore, our function approaches negative 1 if the value of x approaches 1 from the left. So we have here now two different values, but this is under the same function. So as you can see, after we solve for the right-hand limit and the left-hand limit, they are two different values. Therefore, if we will be asked to solve for the limit of the function if x approaches 1, we will say that the limit does not exist. Why did we say that the limit does not exist? Because after solving for the right-hand limit and the left-hand limit, we observe that the two approaches two different values. So that means they are not the same. They are not meeting at one exact value. So therefore, the limit of this function as x approaches 1 does not exist. Now, what if I just want to solve for f of 1? So f of 1 means I have to substitute or evaluate the function f at x equals 1. So I will be using here this one, the second subfunction. So the value here will be equal to 1. So as you can see, these two are different. So the limit is not the same as evaluating the function or f of c. So they are two different things because limit might not exist, but you can still get a value for f of c. So there are just cases wherein we can, we can substitute, we can evaluate the function using c. There are just some few cases wherein it's applicable, but not all the time because technically their concepts are different. Okay? So that is how we solve for the limits of a function. So just remember, limit refers to the value that the function approaches as x approaches a certain value. And we can say that the limit exists if both the right hand and the left hand limit are the same. And it does not exist if they are two different values. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something about the limits of a function and see you next time.